Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks, along with my co-host, who is now gone. Um, all right, guys. So uh, we had no free picks video yesterday. Um, two days ago, guys, last time we did free picks, we ended up going one and two in our free picks. I can't remember who we had. Um, I know we had the Blue Jays. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, we had Blue Jays. Uh, they got the win, guys. And then we had Texas and uh, Pittsburgh, Kansas City. Pittsburgh, Kansas City was uh, an absolute blowout loser. Uh, Texas, guys, we went to a couple extra innings. I believe it went to 11 innings, if I'm not mistaken. And Texas just couldn't score. In the top half of the 11th, um, they, their guy got caught stealing third base. Um, what are you doing, bro? Anyways, he got caught stealing, and then Colorado uh, closed it out finally in the bottom of the 11th. They had their chances, but... All in all, guys, if you look at that game, right, there are a lot of times I'll come out and I'll say, you know, oh, we tough break, you know, we had some chances, we should have done that. Texas deserved to lose that ball game. Um, jury's kind of out on whether I think it was a good pick overall. I just, I know Texas didn't show up. So when the game was actually played, they did not deserve to win that game. Um, but Toronto definitely deserved to win the game. So we'll go with that. Um Yesterday, guys, in uh, master class, we ended up going four and three yesterday. Four and three, couple uh, couple close games. Um, yeah, couple close games. The ones we lost were were close, um, but yeah, still four and three. Good profitable day. Um, and the day before in master class, um, there was something I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, okay. So uh, I think that. You know, I, I talked about this in Masterclass yesterday, guys, and I just want to reiterate, if, you, if you're in Masterclass and you heard this, like, skip over it. But, um, okay, so yesterday, guys, uh, I talked about this. We, we took Baltimore, who was in the midst of, I believe, a 13 or 14 game losing streak. Um, and I don't like to jump in front of streaks. Uh, however, you know, there was just too much value and too much pointing on Baltimore in this game. Um, screamed, screamed trap line. So we managed to get Baltimore plus 147. Um, multiple system indicators, five steam and reverse line moves, 26% of bets, but 64% of money. So we not only took Baltimore, but we did a little sprinkle at minus one and a half on Baltimore, getting plus 285. But uh, what I, what I kind of talked about there was that, you know, I don't love jumping in front of streaks. And I've talked about this before with you guys in free picks that, if you're going to jump in front of a streak, I mean, you need to be absolutely sure. And that particular pick on Baltimore, had Baltimore just won two or three in a row with everything was pointing, that could have been a two unit play. But there is never, under any circumstance, a situation where you can get a two unit play where you're in the tail and or the, the ending part, hopefully the ending part of, of a streak. Okay, if you're betting against a streak, guys, Absolutely not. If you're betting with a streak and there's a lot of supporting evidence, sure, you can get there. But if a team has lost 13 or 14 or 17 games in a row, you can't go two units on the 18th game thinking, oh, this is going to be the one. You know, I think there are a lot of people who say, you know, they're going to be due, but there's a lot of broke people walking around Vegas who thought teams were going to be due as well, right? So um, at the end of the day, look, you know, we, we took a shot on this one, um, knowing full well Baltimore – you know, could continue their losing streak, but there was just too much value not to bet this particular game. But my preference, like we used to bet, you know, earlier on last month when Tampa Bay was on that winning streak, we wrote Tampa a few times. We picked up Tampa as an underdog too. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to, you know, not take a team underdog on a 10 game winning streak when you're getting plus 140, plus 150, right? So um, going against streaks, dangerous. All right. Um, Best not attempted, however, we, we did and, and we nailed it. So um, the other thing too, guys, the last game, the game I was kind of proudest about, um, and this was two days ago, we took the New York Mets first five innings. I basically said, look, I, I want to take advantage of Stroman, the pitching matchup there with the Mets, but I don't love the Mets offense. And then, as a matter of fact, if you want to go nine innings here, um, it's going to be tough for the Mets. So we took them first five innings minus 115. We got the win. And what I was so proud of was the fact that not only do we get the win, but the Mets did end up losing that game. Um, so we, we basically not only saved a unit, but we won a unit going first five. So anyways, guys, that's 
I guess, you know, the, the moral kind of take out of that is I haven't gone first five too often this year. I did it. I did it yesterday in, in one of the plays only with a team total. We took Washington Nationals first five innings um, over two and a half runs. We got plus 130. Uh, Washington is, that's 244 against righties, 274 against lefties. Their on base percentage is 40 points higher versus lefties. Okay. Plus, plus 130 at two and a half. It was it was tremendous value. It literally took to the fifth inning though. They they stranded, I believe it was six runners on base before that, but finally in the sixth or in the fifth inning, um, they they finally got it on a two run home run. So we squeaked by. But it, it's important, guys, that I know people they, they cap baseball and they just totally forget that first five innings even exist. And you know, if you're not used to betting it and you don't understand all the ins and outs and the intricacies of why you would bet and why you wouldn't bet it then, you know, maybe just follow along, write those numbers down, compare how you would have done had you have bet that game first five versus full game. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of variables and a lot of factors, you know, when it comes to team totals and stuff like that. What, what's a major unknown in a baseball game? The major unknown is who's going to come in out of the bullpen, right? Who's going to come out out of the bullpen and when, right? Um, you know, occasionally you see, you see relievers early. Yesterday we took the Dodgers, they were up 11-1. I mean, you're, you're going to see a relief early in that situation. But there's other there's other times, guys, where you think, look, you're going to get at least four and a half, five, maybe six innings out of a starter. And do you want do you want to do a first five bet because you either like or dislike that starter? Um, and you know, there, there's certainly other variables as well. Um, earlier this year, guys, I took a first five inning total under. Um, why did I why did I take a first five innings? Well, because I, I really like the under but they were calling for rain in the second half of the game. So, you know, do I want to take that chance where it's a one nothing game in the seventh inning and, you know, the ump goes like this and calls it and I just lose my bet? No. So the game ended up getting played to its completion. We won the first half, so it was a moot point. But, you know, sometimes it's factors like that that you want to take into account. So anyways, guys, um, that's it today. So I'm going to get into today's plays. Here's what we're looking at. I have two free plays for you guys. I have two baseball plays. Masterclass, guys, I have one WNBA play. I have two NBA plays and two additional baseball. So five additional picks in Masterclass and two picks for free picks. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get cracking. Um, first off, guys, Minnesota and Kansas City. Minnesota KC, we're going to go under 9.5 minus 115. Under 9.5 minus 115. Um... 24% of bets, 41% of money. So this is a money distribution that we don't like. We love this money distribution. Why? Again, guys, look, you have a really nice separation, seven to 21% difference, and it's a contrarian play. So it's less than 50% of the money and a difference of seven to 21% with the percentage of bets being lower. In this case, 24% of bets, 41% of money, okay? So it's a 17 point difference between the, the money or the bet percentage and the money percentage, okay? And it's less than 50%, which means what? If if this game goes under, Vegas wins. And we like that. And so do we, right? Um, that's how Vegas was built. So uh, we like the money distribution, guys. There's three steam and reverse line moves on this. And I have a system as well. Minnesota, Kansas City, under nine and a half, minus 115. All right, guys, uh, final game. Cincinnati and St. Louis. Cincinnati and St. Louis, depending on your book, guys, you're, you're either going to have this line at eight or eight and a half. I have eight at minus 117, guys. I'm giving up the play. Um, can, uh, sorry, Cincinnati, St. Louis. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, St. Louis, over eight minus 117. Okay, now, um, most of you guys will either have this directly or you can move the line if it's gone to eight and a half. Eight and a half should be like plus 105 or maybe even money. Um, I much prefer getting eight in this game. Again, multiple, multiple steam bets on the over in this game. And uh, again, we've been selective this year with our overs, but you know, the games we have taken done pretty well um, with those. So we did have a number of overs that we hit yesterday. Um, anyways, guys, so that is it for today. So again, recap, uh, Minnesota, Kansas City, under nine and a half, minus 115. Cincinnati, St. Louis, over eight, minus 117. Uh, again, guys, master class today. I have a WNBA play. I have two more baseball plays. 
and I have two NBA basketball plays for tonight. All right, so that's it for us today. Thank you guys very much, and as always, guys, have a very lucky day.